I welcome everybody who is interested in science. And on Sunday night at the Oscars, actor Will Smith slapped comedian Chris Rock, one of the presenters at the ceremony. Uh oh, Richard! <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! This outburst was triggered by the joke that Rock done a moment ago. He said he was looking forward to seeing Jada Smith, Will Smith's wife, in JJ2, a reference to 1997 movie that stared a bold Demi Moore as a female soldier. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, alright? The reason why this joke was taken too seriously by Jada might be linked to the fact that she has alopecia, an autoimmune disorder in which uh, the body attacks its own hair follicles, uh, causing the hair loss. Hair follicles in a normal state are thought to be kept um, kind of secure from the immune system, being a so-called an immune privilege area. And what causes the breakdown is an issue of a debate. But importantly, these conditions cannot be fully treated, and therefore an affected person has to live with it. And you can imagine that this situation might not be an easy one. But let's focus on the reaction to this joke and dig a bit into neuroscience of what has happened. Apparently, at the beginning, Will Smith laughed together with an audience. <laughs> But then he has seen the reaction of his wife. <laughs> uh, that obviously was not happy with this joke. Then Smith perceived Chris Rock's joke as a threat to his wife's emotional well-being, and for him, this stimulus turned from a joke to a threat. And what happened next is referred as amygdala hijack. This term was introduced in 1995 by psychologist Daniel Goldman and can be described as an immediate and intense emotional reaction that is out of proportion to the situation. In other words, it's when someone um, loses it or seriously overreacts to something or someone. And how did this response occur? Under normal conditions, um, sensory information first uh, heads to the brain area named thalamus, which acts as your brain's relay station. The thalamus then relays that information to the neocortex, which is kind of your thinking brain. From there it sends to the amygdala, the emotional brain, which produces the appropriate emotional response. But this is under normal, controlled conditions. However, part of the information goes to amygdala directly, and if amygdala senses danger, it initiates the so-called flight or fight response. In this case, uh, the nervous system provokes the release of the certain stress hormones, such as adrenaline and cortisol, and as a result, we have an increase in heart and breathing rates, as well as in blood pressure. Uh, all this makes us more ready to cope with a threatening situation, makes us kind of uh, more alert. Importantly, this chain reaction happens without direct involvement of the cortex, without our logical thinking, because it should be fast. And even though being helpful in some real threatening situation, in many cases, this reflex should be controlled. Otherwise, uh, we would be very emotionally unstable. The prefrontal cortex is the brain region responsible for suppressing this reflexive amygdala-driven response. However, in some cases our prefrontal cortex is not able to override this automatic behavioral. It can be just too strong, like over-emotions, or alcohol can also inhibit the prefrontal cortex. And this is partially why people who are drunk are not good in controlling their emotions. Smith was obviously not drunk, but if he has consumed some alcohol before, it could have been another factor. And this is what happened. He was driven by this amygdala hijack, performed this lab, and when the prefrontal cortex took over, it was too late. He did apologize, but what's done is done. And from a scientific point of view, this case brought into the spotlight two important scientific issues. First, alopecia. It is important to be aware about this condition and maybe abstain from joking about it, especially if a person is not okay with that. And second, amygdala hijack, something we may experience ourselves. Being prepared for it can help us to cope with this situation in the future. And, you know, controlling it can be a serious challenge. You know, even top Hogwarts students could not remain calm sometimes. Wow, this girl really has some issues. Run, run, run! <laughs> Thanks for watching, if you like this video make sure to give it a thumb up and subscribe to the channel, allowing all notifications not to miss new cool scientific stuff. And for now, I hope to see you soon, bye bye.